growth softens. Right. Yeah, you wouldn't think, or at least you wouldn't want it, certainly, if, right. if that were the case. That's something would cocktail. be blown loose. That's right. a bad cocktail. We do have some breaking news, though, on Qualcomm. Christina Parts and Neville is here with that. Hello, Christina. Hi, Mike. Well, Qualcomm aims to bring AI to the edge. In other words, personal computers, local servers, and smartphones. And it plans to do so today with the announcement of two new chips. First, the Snapdragon Series 8 Gen 3, long name, but for high-end Android phones. And secondly, the X-Elite chip for PCs and laptops. Both will help run generative of AI applications without having to rely solely on the internet. My colleague Kith Leswing had an exclusive interview with Qualcomm executive who said the new smartphone chip can generate an AI image in less than a second versus last year's model, which took about 15 seconds or so. So that means shoppers will no longer be asking, how great is my camera or how much memory do I have? But rather, what is the speed of these AI applications? No mention of Apple, though, in this report. The second product is going to be an ARM-based CPU chip for Microsoft-powered PCs. Qualcomm CFO saying it'll make them the new CPU leader in mobile computing and says it's four and a half times faster than Intel's x86 x86 chips and will also be introduced in mid-2024. Recall just yesterday, Mike Reuters reported that NVIDIA is also building a CPU chip for Microsoft-powered PCs, AMD as well. So that means a lot more competition, not only for Intel, but also Apple that is, uh, you know, growing in the space with its own custom chip just uh, over the last little while. But for more on all of these products, Qualcomm CEO is going to be joining us on CNBC at 4 p.m. Eastern for a first. Mike? Christina, thank you.